Welcome to my new room. Ah, I'm in my new room, finally. Um, this is gonna be my first video here. So even though I have the same furniture, it's still a different. I, I, I thought I heard a knock, literally. <laughs> this is scary. Okay, I, I love my new room, but apparently because the street is right over there, it's not a big street, it's just one way. But still, I guess I'm gonna struggle with noise a bit. Not for myself, but I think for the videos. Because now I'm gonna experience, you know, filming in my new room. So let's see how this is gonna go. Okay, the intro. Mm, okay, good. Um, hi, hello, welcome everyone. This is Maya Blue. And um, today I'm gonna talk a bit about some Serbian cultural aspect. And because most of you are actually interested in Serbian, uh, which is good to know what you know, the people looking at my videos, what they're looking at. So yeah, it's also a very good thing because I'm learning about my culture. Not also learning, but I am kind of, you know, making things aware of the things that I was doing, maybe how I was behaving, the things that I believe in. I don't know, I find it very interesting. And today, what I'm gonna talk about is superstition. So I'm gonna talk about, we have various, like we, we can have a, like a, not a list, it's, it, it would be a book about superstitions. We have so many. Certain ones are more important than some other ones. Uh, depends on the person, depends on your family, depends on many other factors, but um, there are some of them that are like, you know, they're like a rule. And it's not, it's like, it's not a joke. <laughs> it's not a joke, actually. People will tell you, don't do this because of this. Don't do this because of that. <laughs> so, and you're kind of like, do you really believe so? And I was that person. Like not, I wouldn't tell this to anyone, but I would be like, oh yeah, shoot, I shouldn't do this because you know, then later I'm gonna be, I don't know, ugly. I did not do much research on how it actually derived, like how did it get to be such an important thing in Serbia. I guess that it has something to do with paganism. At least that's what I read a bit. And I guess many of the things just stuck until today. I'm gonna give you just some of them that maybe you have heard about, maybe not. Um, these are the ones that were at least known to me um, and I would like for you in the comments below to write down what your superstition is, like what are the kind of things that you are like, maybe you believe in, maybe it's just something that people have told you and um, what is the most, uh, give me some most interesting ones, I don't know, I feel like I, I can find some crazy ones. So most of the ones that I have that I'm going to tell you are about money and being wealthy or poor. There's going to be some of them related to other people, love, relationships, something like that. Let's start with money. So if you want to be rich or at least if you don't want to be poor, you should not eat bread crumbs. The reason for that is that Actually, it's really straightforward. Like, if you're so poor, you would eat anything, even the breadcrumbs. So, um, this is where it derives from. So, if you go to Serbia, do never, do not ever eat breadcrumbs. Okay, for this one, I have no explanation whatsoever. But um, do not put your purse or bag on the floor. It should always be on top of something. It should always be on the chair. It should always be, I don't know, on the bed or whatever. And I guess it's mostly like you know about hygiene or something like that, but that's what I heard. So if you want to have money, do not put your purse or bag on the floor. Okay, so we're still talking about money. So if your left palm, this is right for you, but my left. So if your left palm itches, that means like in the middle, that means that you are going to receive money. If your right palm itches, that means you're going to give money. You know what I mean? This is how you do it. <laughs> so you lend and you borrow. So you give and you take. Okay, so let's talk about love. So if you're a woman and if you want to get married, do not sit at the corner, you know? So what I mean, do not sit at the corner of the table because I don't know. This is just what I learned. <laughs> but if you want to be single, oh, I'm sure, okay. But if you want to be single, well, be my guest. You can sit wherever you want. Another one. If you're a woman, again, about love and women. I don't know why there isn't anything about men, but okay. Um, 
If you want your mother-in-law to love you, you will eat the end of the bread. So that part, you know, where it has like the biggest crust. Um, yeah. Ask me why. Um, do I love that part of the bread? I love it. Come on, it's bread. It's a crust. I love crusts. Did I eat it because of that? No, I don't have a boyfriend. What are you talking about? You know what? <laughs> While I'm going through these, um, superstitious I'm thinking like did I actually believe in them it wasn't that I believed it was like it's a thing you had to do like for sure just like it, it was just like the truth don't do it so you just it's easier for you not to do them or like to obey the rules one of the things I learned very very early on again it's about a partner so it can be you know unisex it can be for girls or guys um, if you want your partner to be beautiful, you're gonna like not literally lick everything from your plate, but make your like leave your plate very tidy and eat everything from the plate. I guess one of the reasons to do that is to like push kids to to actually eat, you know, because some of the kids can be probably a bit spoiled. So um, and then you tell them if you want your partner to be beautiful, you should eat everything from the plate and leave it clean, you know, like cleaner at least. Um, and that's what I learned when I was still in my kindergarten, when I was with my grandparents. Um, I mean, when I would go to their place. So it's a, it's a bit weird when you think about it, but yeah. Hmm. Is it true? I don't know. Let's see. Stay tuned. <laughs> so the last three that I'm going to talk to you about are going to be about relations or about like people overall, not just like love, you know. So if you know something about the Serbian culture or the language, so whenever, for example, if you sneeze, then someone should tell you, bless you, um, which is not dobre, which is basically, you know, trying to protect you from any possible illness. So like to the health, basically. There's another thing that you can do. You can say truth, which how I interpreted it is like if someone is talking and then they sneeze, that means that they've been talking the truth because apparently everyone lies. So by saying the truth, I'm confirming that you're not lying. You're welcome. Um, what happens when your nose itches? This is something that I definitely, I always thought about. So if my nose itches and then if you like rub it, then um, it means that you're gonna get angry at a certain point and someone you're gonna be, you know, have a conflict maybe, like someone's gonna piss you off basically. So, you know, bad, bad luck, bad luck. What can I tell you? I guess that the last one that I'm gonna talk about, there's many ways, by the way, sorry for the sun. It's just like, you know, clouds, sunny, cloud, sunny, cloud, sunny, Germany. Yeah. And that's my hanger just falling constantly because it's windy. It's windy over here. So I feel like with this one, there's many interpretations um, and I will just tell you how I interpreted it. So if you have a hiccup, and it's not going away, then you can, I guess you can interpret it in two ways. There's someone is gossiping about you or that someone is just talking about you. They're like mentioning you. This is the way that I interpreted it. So like if I have a hiccup, then like, oh, someone is talking about me. Like, you know, just mentioning me probably in the, in the positive light, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then you would do something that's very interesting. So you would say, Aqua elane ne castane. And usually you shouldn't stop right away. Okay. <laughs> and usually it shouldn't stop right away. Cause you know, when you have hiccup, you're just, it's gonna last for quite a while. Um, and then you replace the word here, lame, with um, some other person. So if you're like, oh my God, I like this guy, Tom. And let me see if, you know, he's thinking about me. Like if he's talking about me, hopefully positively. So you would say, Tom ne castane. And then you can go like, why did I say Tom? Like it was Milan, Milan. Aque Milan ne castane. Aque Petar ne castane. Aque Yalano ne castane. Aque... No, it's not. So you can do this until you get to a point like, oh, that person is mentioning me because when I said that, it stopped. So that must be it. <laughs> I actually had a blast writing down these things because everything that I wrote down or told you uh, right now is any, everything that I followed basically, <laughs> like everything that I kind of believed in. 
um, and I'm sure that there's so many more. Uh, so I would like to hear from you what are your superstitions from your own countries, from if you know some more from Serbia, give me some, give me the juicy ones. So thank you for joining me um, during this video as well. Thank you for tuning in. And if you like videos about Serbian culture, Serbian language, anything about the Balkans, let me know. I was like, I wanted to do this, <laughs> but I was like, let me know. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, make sure to like it and subscribe. Subscribe if you really want to. It's your freedom of choice, um, if, only if you're enjoying my content, um, but I hope you are enjoying it. <laughs> so have a good one and see you later. Bye.